Hey guys, it's Victor and Kibi です。Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> and today we do. We have a J news today. Don't laugh. This is very serious. People uh, died many, many years ago. Okay. So today's big news. I thought it's a big news, but Kimmy says it's not a big news, right? Mm. It's not a big news. Oh, so, um, what? I actually, I don't. Secretary of State, I think, is what his job is. Secretary of State uh, Kelly. Mm. Kelly. He's come. He has come to Japan. Secretary of State. The US, United States has come to Japan for the G7 summit me me meeting, and they're going to be talking about. Do you know why they're what they're, what they're going to talk about? No, no, they're going to talk. No, not, they're not going to talk about that. Do you know what the G7 is? Ah, I know. Okay, what are they going to talk about? Do you know? Economy. Econ yeah. so Economy. Yeah, economy and Kita Ah, Kita Which is North Korea. They're going to talk about that because, of course, they're always rattling their sabers, making a mess. But um. <laughs> But the it's you know in the Japanese news today as you can see here they are talking about the fact that he is the first uh, high official or secretary of state to to come to Hiroshima in history, so it's kind of a big deal, and they made it a big point that he will not apologize. So uh, do you think my question became Kimi? You have no interest in this story, right? I'm ready. She says it's not a big story. What? No, no. Do you think? But this this is the first time a Secretary of State has ever come to Hiroshima in history. So, so anyway, the 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 uh, of course the American government the official word is he's not there to apologize. He's just for the G7. He's there just for the G7 summit. Totally. Okay. So, do you think he should apologize? No, he should. Do you think he should? No? As as nani, as nani toshite. As a representative of the American government. No, do, I just know what I asked you. They never answer. <laughs> do you think he should apologize? No? So you don't want an apology? <clears throat> if, you, if, they, if you really wanted to apologize from the bottom of your heart, how do you say bottom of your heart? Kokoro no soko. From the bottom of your heart, then he would have apologized. America would have apologized already. As a, well, why, why, as a person. As a person? Why would he apologize as a person? He wasn't even alive during World War II. Oh, I mean, he just, as a, as a representative. Okay. So, um, what do you guys think? Do you think the American government should ever apologize for the Hiroshima? And do you think they ever will apologize? I doubt it heavily. Um, but today, that's not really, that's fine. The, the, let, let me get the Japanese lesson. Uh, <laughs> that, that's the question, but the Japanese lesson is over here. Let's come on, come on over here. Of course, because this is katakana, you can see uh, this is probably a name that you use katakana for foreign words. In this case, keri, keri. Now, when I asked Tomoko about this, I said, did, "You know, did you hear Keri's in uh, Hiroshima?" And she thought I meant Kelly, Kelly who used to live here in Nagoya, but of course not Strawberry Mochi. But yeah, <laughs> Kelly Strawberry Mochi has, has come to apologize. Now. So Keri, uh, let me see, Beikoku. Which is America? Bay, Kokumucho. Oh, okay, okay. Bay, right here. Bay indicates America. Bay, Kokumucho, which is Secretary of State. Mm. Secretary of State, Kokumucho. And over here, Ga, Hibakuchi. What's wrong? Really? I wrote this. Oh, I see. Yes, you're right. Very good. The kanji mistake there. Thank you. Learn, learn from the mistakes of the moron. Um, of course, Compare this with the kanji that is in the, in the description, and you will, you will see that my handwriting is not that great, but but a lot of Japanese will be even worse. Like they'll, they'll write better, but you won't be able to read it at all. So although it's a little bit childish, my handwriting, uh, at least you can kind of read it. Okay. Anyway, so the Secretary of State from America, ga, this indicates the, the subject, the topic marker, or the subject marker, hibakuchi. Hibakuchi is the location of the bomb. So this is where the bomb was dropped. Hibakuchi. Um, hibaku, I guess, would be victim. Victim place. Mm, so so. A bomb victim place. So. O indicates the, what, what the verb will act on. And in this case, the, the verb is homon, homon, which means visit. Mm. Tazuneru. Mm. Homon, homon. And, and in quotes, these, these little brackets here indicate a quotation. And the quotation is, Shazai shinai. So these are these are akin to the English like that, right? When you see the brackets, when you see these brackets in Japanese. Shazai shinai. We will not apologize. So shazai is the formal way to say ayamaru. Ayamaru. Ayamaru is to apologize. So do you think that the uh, Americans should, if you think someone should apologize, you would say ayamari nasai. Ayamare. Ayamare, even stronger. Ayamare. Ayamare. But say, uh, they said, ayamare. 
How about I am ani nasai? I am ani nasai. That's basically it. Any other, any other ways to say apologize? I am ani nasai. When you're very strong. I am ani nasai. No, I am ani. I am ani. I am ani. I am ani nasai. What's another way? I am ani bikita. What's another way? Um, I am ani. I am ani. Soft. I am ani. I am ani. Hold on. You should apologize. Anyway, those are, that's your lesson for today. I'll put those. Ayamaru and Ayamate uh, expressions in the description. Tell me what you think about America bombing Japan and should they ever apologize. And until next time, see you guys later. Ayamare! <laughs> <laughs>